Today, the Federal Reserve raised interest rates three quarters of a percentage point. That's the largest hike since 1994. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb breaks down what that increase means for all of us. On a day as hot as this, we'd all like a chance to beat the heat. And while discussing nationwide economic policy might not be as fun as a day at the fountains, the Fed is essentially trying to do to the economy what these fountains are doing to these kids, giving everybody a chance to cool down. If interest rates go up, prices are gonna go down. Experts at Lipscomb University say, consider the time we're in. They say there's been a heat wave in the economy the last few years, with record highs on Wall Street and 50-year low unemployment. But that's led to the inflation you've experienced, paying more for the same thing, even impacting prices at the pump. Being that hot is not, is not that good, right? Being that hot is not that good. We need, we need to go back to our equilibrium level if we may. To do that, the Fed raised interest rates today, three quarters of a percent, the largest hike in 28 years. In the short term, it means it will be harder for you to borrow money. The cost of buying cars and homes and anything else through a loan or credit will go up. But the hope is that will discourage people from spending as much, eventually forcing down both prices and increases in inflation. If, if a lot of people stop, stop buying goods and services, demand suddenly starts to go down, right? And if demand starts to go down, prices, you know, are gonna go down as well. To keep prices for things we buy every day under control, experts say this rate hike is the break we all could use in a time as hot as this. Oh yeah, yeah, cool off and keep on going. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it, it works like that, right? Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. All right, thanks, Jason. Jason just told us how this affects car loans and mortgages, but what about your just basic savings account? Well, banks do generally raise their savings rates to correlate the Fed's hikes with the Fed's hikes, but that's not mandatory. How quickly you might see any increase depends on your bank. If your bank has a solid cash position, Forbes says it could be a bit before account holders benefit from any increase. The national average rate on a savings account right now it went up just 0.01% earlier this year.